Hi everyone! Welcome to Soup Dog Recipes. Today we're making minced pork stir fry with pickled long beans. I made a full tutorial about how to pickle vegetables not so long ago. This is a follow up recipe. So you can have some inspiration about how to use pickles in cooking. Also, this recipe is quite special for me. We'll explain that at the end. Okay, let's get started. You will need 300 grams of ground pork, simply marinated with one tablespoon of soy sauce, two teaspoons of oyster sauce, a little bit white pepper to taste, and half teaspoon of sugar. Just mix that until the seasoning is well combined. Remember how I highlight that you need to mix the meat within one direction when making dumpling fillings? We don't need to do that here, because if you overdevelop the protein, the meat will bound together while cooking. Set it aside, let's get the pickles ready. These pickles are homemade. I'll put the video link in the description. You can go check it out if you want to learn how to make it. Take some pickled long beans, which we call it xuan dou jiao, and some pickled chilies, we call it pao jiao. You can find these ingredients in almost any Asian market, or you can also buy it on Amazon. Heat up your wok. Add some oil, about two and a half tablespoon. Throw in two teaspoons of diced ginger, three tablespoons of diced garlic, along with the pickled chilies. Be careful here. Pickled chili has lots of moisture. It will likely cause some oil splashing. Stir them until fragrant. Then push everything to the side so you will have room for the ground pork. Spread the meat. Let it cook. Also, you want to do your best to loosen the meat. Use the spatula to break up the big pieces. We don't want any meat patties. We want it to be fluffy so it can be mixed evenly when you add the long beans. When the pork is fully cooked, give it a taste. Mine does need a little bit salt. Later on, we will not add any more salt because pickled long beans is salty already. Push everything to the side and add the long beans. Stir to cook it for a minute or two. Then mix everything until well combined. Dump in a handful of scallion. Mix it again. Take it out and you're ready to serve. This can be a nice little side dish or you can use it as a topping. Put it over wonton soup, noodle soup. I remember one of my stable childhood breakfasts is this dish with some porridge, which just rice and water. I know, porridge does not sound appetizing, but my mom always makes it in the morning. There is something about this dish. No matter how many delicious food that I have had in the world, I will never forget this. Maybe it's because I grew up with it and my taste buds are telling me, Hey, I know the flavor. This feels like home. <laughs> I hope you give this a try soon. If you did, leave me a comment. Let me know how it goes. As always, the recipe will be in the description down below the video. Go check that out. Don't forget to take a look off my channel. I'm sure you will find out how to cook your favorite Chinese food. New videos come out every Wednesday. And I'll see you next time. Bye!